Hi, it's Katrina. Number 10. Titanoboa. The Titanoboa was the most terrifying serpent that ever lived on the planet. It was a truly huge creature, upwards of 42 feet long, and would most certainly traumatize anyone with a fear of snakes. Try to imagine a boa constrictor that was so big, its body could barely fit through a doorway. The Titanoboa was such a gigantic snake, it could have wrapped itself around your car and squeezed it like a flimsy soda can. What's even more terrifying is that we don't know for sure how big the Titanoboa could have been. Only a few of its vertebrae have been found in northeastern Colombia, so we really don't know its exact range. It could have been a maximum of 42 feet long, or maybe it grew even bigger to 47 feet long. It won't be clear until scientists find more fossils. One thing we do know is that the Titanoboa was almost certainly an apex predator, one which rose to prominence after the extinction of the dinosaurs. Just a few million years after the dinosaurs were wiped out, the Titanoboa took its place as the king of the South American jungle. It lived roughly between 58 and 60 million years ago during the Paleocene epoch, but it's not clear when it went extinct. When it came to food, the snake most likely ate mostly fish. The Titanoboa lived in the rivers and lakes of South America, preferring water to land. Considering it weighed upwards of 2,500 pounds, slithering through the trees was a lot tougher than sailing through the water. In truth, the Titanoboa was more of a river monster than anything else. Number 9. The Chubby Lizard Long before dinosaurs were on the scene, there was a strange ancestor to mammals that scientists are now calling the Chubby Lizard. This was an amphibious creature that had a very small head, a robust body, and lived a lifestyle not dissimilar to that of a modern-day hippo. It looked like an overweight lizard whose head was too small for its body, and although it might not have been terrifying in the traditional sense, there is just something unsettling about a rotund lizard like a fat turtle without a shell. The mysterious amphibian lived 265 million years ago on the supercontinent of Pangaea. Its fossils were recently excavated in France, and scientists were shocked because it's a totally unknown species. It's also an unknown genus, and nobody's ever seen anything remotely similar to this creature. The prehistoric animal, dubbed Laleoduhorneinicus gandhi, something like that, try saying that 10 times in a row, measured about 12 feet long. Nobody knows how much it weighed for sure, but it most likely weighed a lot. When the scientists looked at its bones underneath a microscope, they found them to be spongy and flexible. This is what hints at a semi-aquatic lifestyle due to the reason that spongy bones are usually indicative of diving. The chubby lizard was probably an herbivore, likely with a highly advanced digestive system to easily break down plant matter. And although it is an early mammal ancestor, it wasn't a mammal or a reptile or part of any family on Earth today. It was its own thing, a unique and utterly bizarre creature. Number 8. The Feathered T-Rex The U. tyrannus walleye was an earlier version of the Tyrannosaurus rex, one that was completely covered in bird feathers. According to National Geographic, the U. tyrannus was the biggest feathered animal that ever walked the earth. Its name is a mix of Mandarin and Latin, which translates to beautiful feathered tyrant. The first fossil of the U. tyrannus was discovered by the Chinese paleontologist Xing Shu in the year 2012. You may not know his name, but he's one of the most famous dinosaur hunters in the world. He's discovered over 30 species, including the winged microraptor and the dilong and gunlong. These last two were early tyrannosaurs covered in a soft layer of fuzz, almost like a beaver's pelt, but they were only about the size of small dogs. In comparison, the U. tyrannus was a behemoth. It weighed over 3,000 pounds and stood at a bare minimum of roughly 21 feet. That's 40 times bigger than the next largest feathered dinosaur, the Bapiosaurus. The U. tyrannus was also covered from head to toes in feathers, most of which were about 6 inches long. Interestingly, the feathers had no use as tools for flying. This was before modern birds took flight when feathers were used for insulation and mating rituals. The feathers on the U. tyrannus would have been similar to those on modern emus and cassowaries. However, 
just because this dinosaur was covered in pretty feathers did not mean it was harmless like a giant chicken. It was a major predator, with huge hips, small forearms like the T-Rex, and teeth that were as big as bananas. It was so powerful that it could crush the skulls of its enemies with one swift chomp from its strong jaw. Number 7. The Giant Centipede The Arthropleura armata is known more simply as the Giant Centipede. It lived during the Carboniferous period, which took place between 345 and 290 million years ago. It was the most frightening insect that ever scuttled across the ground. During the Carboniferous period, there was significantly more oxygen in the atmosphere, and because of this, Bugs and anything creepy-crawly grew to be staggeringly large. The ancient centipede was an unfathomable 10 feet long, with a weight of 110 pounds. To this day, no other invertebrate has ever grown to rival the original giant centipede. It most likely wouldn't have had any predators while it was alive, and would have combed through the forests and jungles of early Earth eating whatever it wanted, but sticking mainly to seeds, fruit, and spores. There were almost no terrestrial vertebrate predators back then, and the centipede would have lived in an endless buffet of food. The scary part is that the giant centipede looked almost exactly like the centipede still alive today. Its body was made of plates, with each one boasting a pair of legs. It was also fast, propelling itself with its dozens of limbs underneath trees and logs. It was so gigantic it could have easily eaten humans, monkeys, deer, and really anything else if it wanted to. If these centipedes had never gone extinct, humans may have never gotten the chance to evolve. Number 6. The Deadliest Shark The Megalodon was by far the most terrifying shark that ever roamed the seven seas. It was so big and powerful that it could eat a whale in a few bites like you might chomp down on a carrot. A new study has also revealed that the Megalodon, despite its immense size, may have been the fastest shark that ever lived as well. Data collected from fossilized teeth and vertebrae allowed scientists to create a new 3D model of the Megalodon. This model provided scientists with new information regarding its size, speed, and diet. The Megalodon first appeared about 23 million years ago. It spread through every ocean in the world and prospered as an apex predator for the next 20 million years. It only went extinct about 2.6 million years ago thanks to the emergence of great white sharks. With the appearance of smaller and more nimble sharks, the Megalodon found itself losing out on its food sources. It may have been big, quick, and beastly, but the great white sharks proved to be crafty and resourceful. Just like the modern sharks of today, the Megalodon was made up of cartilage. It didn't have bones, only a structure made of hard and quickly degrading cartilage. For this reason, it's impossible to locate a Megalodon skeleton. All researchers have to go on are fossilized teeth and some preserved vertebrae. This gigantic shark's teeth range anywhere from 2 inches to the biggest at 6.9 inches long. In a recent study, scientists took measurements from a vertebral column discovered in Belgium and a set of teeth found in the U.S. With these fossils at their disposal, they were able to create the world's first blueprint of a megalodon skeleton. The team combined the blueprint with modern body scans of a great white shark. This allowed them to fill out soft tissue and to create the most realistic picture of the leviathan. Based on the model, scientists say the megalodon grew to be at least 52 feet long, but could grow to a maximum size of 66 feet. It also weighed as much as 10 African elephants, or around 67.9 tons. It could open its mouth nearly 6 feet wide and had an average cruising speed of 3.1 miles per hour. That's faster than any shark alive today. Number 5. The Pteranodon The Pteranodon was one of the scariest flying reptiles that lived during the age of the dinosaurs. The first Pteranodon fossil was found in North America in 1876. Since then, Plenty more fossils have been found, and scientists have now been able to paint a very clear picture of this aerial predator. It lived during the late Cretaceous period from 70 to 90 million years ago, and mostly preferred to scavenge marine environments in order to satiate its hunger for fish. It almost certainly spent its time flying over the swampy marshlands of North America, and was so huge it blocked out the sun with its bat-like wings. 
This flying reptile was a hybrid between a bird, a lizard, a bat, and a dinosaur. It had features from all of them, yet was its own distinct animal. The Pteranodon belonged to the pterosaur family and was unique with its spear-shaped skull, rock-hard beak, and monstrous 20-foot wingspan. Number 4. The Burrowing Dinosaur 125 million years ago in China, there was a volcanic eruption big enough that it sent ash and lava spewing across the land that eventually killed and suffocated dinosaurs. One of the creatures that fell victim to this volcanic eruption was a species of burrowing dinosaur. Paleontologists found the animal hiding at the bottom of its burrow, where it had been seemingly asleep when the volcanic eruption buried it in hot material and preserved it in immaculate detail. The dinosaur was found by researchers in the Liaoning province of China. They named it Changmiania liaoningensis, which translates to eternal sleep. The dinosaur got its name because of the oddly peaceful position it was discovered in. Pascal Godefroyd from the Royal Belgian Institute of Natural Sciences says this animal, and many others near it, were buried by fine sediment while they were still alive, and the hot sediment from the volcano would have taken their breath away. Similar examples of gruesome deaths can be found throughout the region, which is known in paleontological circles as the Chinese Pompeii. The dinosaur itself is a fantastic new discovery. It was an herbivore and was most likely a very fast runner. However, the most interesting aspect of all was its digging capabilities. Aspects of its skeleton show that it dug burrows like rabbits today. Its snout was shaped like a shovel, and it likely took shelter underground to keep itself safe from more ferocious meat-eating dinosaurs. Number 3. The Almost Spider Mario Hunnikin discovered the remains of the biggest spider that ever existed in 1980. At least, he thought he did. In Argentina, he came across the fossil of what appeared to be a prehistoric arachnid in a 300 million year old rock. The spider was over a foot long, with a leg span of nearly two feet. It was named Megarachne cervine, and it shocked the world with its terrifying proportions. However, as the years went on, more studies were done and the megarachne was scrutinized by paleontologists. They soon became aware that this creature was not a spider at all, but something called a eurypterid, or a sea scorpion. It was an extinct arthropod that lived in the water, not on land. We now know that the megarachne was only a medium-sized sea scorpion, not even the biggest one that ever lived. One of its relatives, the Hibertopterus, could grow to be over 11 feet long. It most likely resided in rivers, lakes, and swamps, specifically in freshwater environments. It ate by raking substrate from the sea floor into its mouth in order to catch small invertebrates. It had blade-like protrusions on its arms and used them like scoops to shovel dirt and animals into its jaws. It's a little less scary than a giant spider, but not really. Number 2. The Prickly Dinosaur A small and terrifying prickly dinosaur was recently discovered in South America. The small yet fierce dino appears to have belonged to a previously unknown lineage. Nobody's really sure where this thing came from, or who its ancient relatives might be. The newly discovered dinosaur is called Jacapil caniacura, and researchers say it looked like a smaller and more primitive Ankylosaurus. It was discovered in armor, and it lived between 97 million and 94 million years ago in the Cretaceous period. It was basically a miniature tank. Even though this animal only weighed as much as a house cat, it was covered in protective spines from its neck to its tail. It had armor, but it also had spikes sticking out from its rock-hard plating that could grow to be over 5 feet long. These spikes would have been sharp enough to impale any dinosaur brave enough to try and eat it. Yet for all its defensive mechanisms, the prickly dinosaur was most likely peaceful. It was also a plant eater and had teeth shaped like leaves, kind of like the stegosaurus. Number 1. Carnivorous Bull The Carnotaurus is known more simply as the carnivorous bull and it was discovered fossilized in Argentina in 1984 by paleontologist José F. Bonaparte. 
What truly separates the Carnotaurus from other carnivores during the age of dinosaurs is its horns. This thing had a pair of devil horns sticking out from its head, although their function is unknown. The dinosaur may have used them for impaling its victims, or they could have been purely ornamental. If you thought the T-Rex was silly for having small arms, just take a look at the Carnotaurus. It had even smaller arms than the T-Rex, so tiny in fact that they nearly had no arms at all. The Carnotaurus's limbs were like little nubs squished against its body in the middle of devolving away completely. However, instead of arms, the Carnotaurus had shockingly long and powerful legs. Even though it weighed over 2,000 pounds, it was quick as lightning. Scientists believe the Carnotaurus was most likely the fastest theropod in its weight class, able to beat every other gigantic dinosaur in a foot race. Thanks for watching! Which one did you like the most? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Bye!